So, all right. so good day everyone. Um, what I'm going to try and explain to you today, and I'm um, hoping not to make a complete fool of myself doing so, um, <laughs> is on a creek like this. Look at this. Now, it's pretty difficult to find gold in a place like this because if you do your tests inside the creek, uh, you're not going to find you're not going to find traces of gold anywhere. You'll only find it on the edges and on the on bedrock under the underneath the rocks. It's all place of gold. So yeah, what I'm going to try to explain to you is um, techniques to use in these cases where there's no traces. I'll repeat myself. There's no traces inside the stream, but there will be traces on. Uh, on bedrock if you have a situation similar to this one. I mean, it's pretty hard to find gold in Italy. That's where I am. Um, I'll show you how to find it today. Come have a look at this. Look at this. Look at the bedrock. Look at this. This is where all the gold will be sitting. You're going to help yourself with a torch. If you have a torch, you can use a pinpointer. You can check out all these little steps. Look at this. This is crazy. And it's all very, very old. Oh, very old bedrock. Now, what I'm going to try to explain to you is um, how to find it on the on the side on the old creek bed. You know that a creek bed can move during uh, the years. All you need is a rock like that that deviates your water flow, and you'll start. Uh, all you need is a rock like that that will deviate your water flow and a new creek bed will start building right here covering up this old one so this is what we're gonna i mean there's not going to be a creek bed under there but there might be a, another creek bed downstream so this is what we're, we're going to be testing today finding we're going to be looking we're going to be looking for gold on top of uh, bedrock and we're going to be looking for old creek beds <laughs> now you tell me if this isn't a trap if you've ever seen one. Look at this. I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to uncover that rock there, this one. This piece of looks like quartz, but I don't I'm not really sure. There's a really really big piece of quartz down there, I'll show it to you later on. Um this could look look at the bedrock under there. All we have to do is clean up, take off all these rocks and check underneath. There will be gold under there, I'm pretty certain of this. Because I have been finding gold nuggets here. All right, good luck to myself. All right, one big problem today will be um, very scarce water. Look at this. It's really... I'll be using this puddle, I guess. Uh, all right. Yeah, there's not much water. It's not, it hasn't been raining too much. I mean, it has been raining, but not enough. So, going to have to wait for some, uh, some water to get down. It'll clean up a little bit so we can have a clear idea to where the, the bedrock is oh man look at this rock here look at the bedrock under the rock <laughs> look at this oh man yeah I need to open this up I need to hey wait a minute no 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 it's not gold <laughs> but you will find nuggets just sitting on top of bedrock <clears throat> that's what I mean so yeah these are You'll be learning some extra things to do today when you find a situation like this. Never leave the place without checking uh, thoroughly. Okay. Look at that big... Look at this. Look at that massive piece of quartz. Right under there. That could be one of the sources. See. Right, that could be one of the sources. So yeah. I will be checking underneath there. All right. Wish me good luck, and let's get on with it. Yeah, so as you can see, this is the stream. There you go. Have a nice look at it. Yeah, no, not much water. But yeah, you can use puddles like this to, uh, to pan in. Why not? Now, what I was trying to explain to you is that you're not going to get your uh, gold here with any traditional... Uh, prospecting way. I mean, there's no testing that you can that you can really do because if you're digging there, digging this overbur uh, overburden here on uh, on the sides, you're not going to get much gold at all. Um, 
actually your first test will probably tell you that there's not much gold but as you can see up here let's go and have a look uh -huh. yeah there's not much there's not much water at all there you go there's your bedrock now what you're going to do in these cases is that you're going to uncover the bedrock so you're going to follow the bedrock right up there you're going to take all this overburden off get rid of it and I'll show you how to do that um, there will be crevices down there up there climbing up maybe on your sides there look there's more bedrock there <clears throat> so what you're going to do is um, what you're supposed to do well, there's our water <laughs> there's not much what you're going to do here is that you're going to fill this up with water coming from the uh, the stream so you're going to take a, a bucket or you can use your pan you can chuck water there and all of this is going to come off and it's going to uncover all of your bedrock down there and that's where the gold will be because there's gold hiding there we found gold down here you see this is a pocket this is a crevice not really a crevice this is actually oh hello <laughs> this is actually um, a pocket it was a trap look at all the quartz there so you got your all your first major indicators right there there you go there's your quartz erosion look at all the uh, all the clay all the red material that's where all the gold will be stuck and the pocket is actually a trap so there you go uh, let's see this yeah look at this this is pretty yeah this will come out this could be traps there you go so all you have to do here is just uncover the bedrock and follow it follow all these crevices all these traps and if you start finding um i don't know garnets heavy materials like you know uh lead yeah, if you start finding lead and uh, bullets and all that stuff, yeah, right, that's a good place. I'd insist right there. So there you go. Now I'll show you how to do it. There you go. Fill it up with water. There it is. And you chuck it there. And it all comes down. Look at it. You can use much more power and force. And all of that comes down. Now as you're doing this, look at where all the dirt and the other burden is going. And you just pick it up with your with your scoop or with uh, a shovel. And all you have to do is just pan all of this. There you go. This is what you have to pan. And while you're doing all of this, you're uncovering more bedrock. There you go, there's more bedrock up there. You're uncovering more bedrock and you're following all these crevices and all these traps. And that's where your gold's going to be. And that's where the gold has been found here. You're not going to find it inside the creek. It's all trapped because it's a place of gold. It's all trapped in there and nice little nuggets and pickers. So that's what you have to do in these cases. So yeah, let's have a quick look. See if something came out, but I don't think so. I mean, right, let's see if there's any gold. Yeah, there's not much gold there. When you start, when you start finding heavy materials like lead, uh, gunshots, and uh, bullets, and all that stuff, that means you've got a trap, and there will be gold there. So yeah, so let's have a quick look around. There's something I carry with me all the time. It's a little torch. Okay, one of these small O-light torches, pretty powerful, there you go. <laughs> Let's go and have a nice look at this quartz. Now, where was it? There you go, there it is. Look at that quartz. Can you see it? It's a whole quartz vein going right up there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this quartz vein. Let's see where the erosion is. There it is. There's the erosion, and there's a there's a snail there too. <laughs> there you go. Look at the erosion. There it is. That's what you have to look at. There you go. That's what you have to look out for. Look at all this erosion. There it is. It's climbing up slowly. There it is. There's one quartz vein there. This one. There it is. And there's one. There's another one up there. 
climbing up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out, oh look at this one too, there's another one there. Uh huh, there it is. Hmm? Right there. And there's a mosquito. <laughs> Little bastard. Look at this quartz vein there, look at that one. Right, now what we're going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to, chop up some of that quartz vein because it's kind of come off pretty easily because it's all eroded and I'm going to pan it and I'm going to see if there's some good news let's see what's going on up there right no there's not much going on up there so I could think that the source of the gold could be coming from these quartz veins and gold has been found upstream inside quartz we have found it we found the source so now we we know where it's coming from and where it's being crumbled up and where it's being transported but you're only going to find it inside uh, on top of bedrock that's where you're going to find the gold here it's only on top of bedrock it's not going to be inside the stream unless there's a uh, bedrock underneath and uh, and some uh, gold traps or crevices so yeah that's where you're going to find your gold here it's not it's not a uh, alluvial gold it's going to be placer gold. So yeah, let's have a quick look at these quartz veins. Let's chop them up a little bit, bring them down, and uh, let's pan them. Let's see if there's some water. Yeah, there could be some water right there. Good, great. Yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna test this um, quartz vein out a little bit. Uh, one thing that's always with me, and it always comes in handy, is a. Uh, Pinpointer. This is the MyLab Pro 35, which has uh, discrimination for ferrous metals. Uh, yeah, you might want to try using one of these in crevices to see if there's anything interesting. You know, it could be what well, it could be metal, could be anything. Well, the discriminator could uh, help you out there. But you know, if you don't have anything else with it, yeah, you might as well give it a squeeze. You know, testing all these uh, crevices and uh, this could pick up a. Uh, a point one hundred, uh, a tenth of a gram nugget without any problems. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's just the camera. Yeah, this could pick up uh, a tenth of a gram nugget without any problems. So yeah, you might want to pass it. You know, hoping that there's no ferrite or uh, graphite or emetite, anything that ends with ite. <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, which is a, basically a metal, so it uh, it'll sound it off. So yeah, you can you can try it with a pinpointer. Yeah, why not? Give it a squeeze in these crevices, see if it goes off anywhere. I mean, it's going to be pretty visible if it uh, if it goes off. So yeah, why not? Always, yeah, always wear gloves. Now one handy tool is this, this crevicing tool, I made it by myself. Look at this, it's not a pocket, it's a rock, and there you go, I've dug around it, so there will be gold underneath it, there's your rock, you see, it's insidious, <laughs> that's all the dirt that I'm interested in, here it is, all this dirt, there you go. Look at all this dirt, it's beautiful. That's the dirt we need. This is the pure bedrock, here it is. That's pure bedrock. The gold will be sitting on top of the bedrock. Right, let's go. I'm gonna do a test pan of this because I'm really, really curious.
Yeah, always check your roots too. Found lots of gold around roots. Always give a nice peek before putting it aside. There we go. Mm, pretty mushy stuff, so yeah. You want to crumble it up a little bit with your fingers. There we go. Dirty water. The water's dirty. Let's see what pops out of here. Yeah, not seeing too many heavies. That's heavy materials. Let's see if there's any gold. Yeah, there is some heavy material. There you go. Amatite. Amatite. That's what you need. That's heavy material. Amatite. Bang. Check for gold. Check for gold. See if there's any gold. We don't care about hematite, just show us the gold. <laughs> well, nah, there's no gold. But, there are your heavies. Look at this, it's a shotgun pellet. There it is. See? That means that's a trap. They're the pockets we're looking for. Right, I've taken some more dirt out of there. I'm going to try to test pan some of that. Then we'll keep going across the bedrock, see if we can uncover some more traps, the deposits. Yeah. A quick look. Yeah, well, look at this. There's quartz. Look at that. I've been chopping that stuff up. So there's a quartz reef under there. That's probably where the gold's coming from. So yeah. No, no gold in there. The biggest nugget we found here is a 0.970, I think. Yeah, 0.970, which was about two kilometers upstream. That's almost a gram of gold. The most I found in uh, two days is, a, is about a gram. Small nuggets, no flakes here. Well, they're actually pretty big flakes. But they're pickers. It's not really flaky gold. I mean, they're, they're pickers. Because you can pick them up. That's why they're called pickers. Didn't you know that? Oh, really? You did it? Now you know it. Alright, let's have a quick look. Yeah, I can see some heavies. So yeah, there'll be a deposit down there. Some garnets, yeah. <laughs> hmm, don't know if there's gold here. Take a quick look. Let's see. Nah, there's no gold. There's another bit of a uh, another pellet there. There you go. A bit of lead, but no gold. Close, but no gold. Right, in this pan, I'm actually seeing more heavies, and together with more heavies, there's more gold. I'll show you. Right, now, by heavies, I mean, mm -hmm, there you go, there's some lead. All right, let's see.
Now you can see some lead there. See quite a bit of lead there. There you go. Let's see if I can keep it up. There you go. Right. There's your lead. Some lead there, but there's also some gold. There it is. That's gold. That's gold. That's lead. 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 That's gold there. Look at that. That's gold. Can you see it? Yeah. It's quite a bit of gold in this pan. And it's come out of here. I'll show you. I'll show you right away where it came from. I've been opening up, as you can see there. This is all a new pocket. It's not really a crevice. I mean, it's a pocket where these rocks were on top of it. Uh, actually, this one. This one. They were all there. So they were stopping the gold, and they were stopping all the other heavies, and that's what I got in the pan I showed you. Now I'm also looking at this area here. There you go. That's a trap. All of this is a trap. There you go. It's all nice and mushy. <laughs> There's the Mr. Snail. <laughs> all of this area. This is all a trap, see? So I'll be digging there too. And there you go. Look for the heavies, and the gold will pop out right away. All right, so I've been chopping up just there, as you can see. Um, starting to get some heavies. Um, when I'm talking about heavies, I'm also talking about these um, really rounded rocks. See these? Yeah, they're heavies. Um, they're probably garnets or something. You start getting into these, well, I mean, these and smaller ones. It means that you're starting to get to the um, to the heavy part of the uh, deposit so there you go and um right you can see many of these heavies in the pan there you go here's another one right you can see some smaller ones but there, there, there is gold there i just saw a nugget um while i was panning a moment ago so yeah um the uh the bedrock is going up from there so there's more stuff to be found there's more gold more heavies <laughs> now where's the gold oh there it is can you see it there it is right there right there the nugget small nugget there there you go so yeah uh, small heavies there you go there's lots of them that's that's actually emetite there's another one here's a pretty heavy so yeah until you find a, depo a deposit that can contain, hey wait a minute, oh no, it looked like a piece of gold um, with mercury on it, but it isn't. So yeah, that's a good idea, going up, looking for more crevices, there's always, there's always gold. So yeah, that's, that's the way, that's the, one of the ways you can prospect if you don't find gold in other ways, <laughs> in the normal ways. There you go. Look at this. There's another crevice. Because there was, there was a rock on it. I just moved the rock and it uncovered another crevice. This is all bedrock. Look at this. So yeah. I'm gonna try pan all this to see there's something there. or something let's see I think it's gold oh yeah there it is this is more nugget there it is right there can you see it I'll help you there it is tiny nugget no not real there it is a small nugget right there came out of that pocket so there you go that's what I was saying that, that's what I was telling you dig deeper if you see bedrock follow the bedrock up to the overburden and get rid of all the dirt if you can use water to take off all the dirt 
otherwise yeah, you're gonna have to just to scrape it out and uh, and find all the hidden bedrock that's under there but there will be gold under there because this is all place of gold I mean that's what I was telling you so uh, let's have a look upstream see if there's anything interesting there's another example there it is look at the erosion look at that yeah you'd be going up there checking out all these small crevices there you go with a little flashlight you just have to light it up there and if there's any gold you'll just see it sun baking that's where you're going to find your gold in places like this uh, if you don't find remember if you don't find anything inside the stream inside the um, the dirt inside oh man look at this what is it <laughs> it's a giant snail look at it ah. <laughs> yeah so if you don't get any gold inside the creek you'll be getting it on the bedrock beside it so never never give up if you come to a place and you have a couple of tests never give up that's how you find it on the side yeah that's where all the gold is <laughs> oh, it's pretty crazy here i mean something you know it's a weird place i mean look at this this is a nice bend i mean you'd be if you were prospecting here normally i mean you'd Go around here and look for gold. Maybe inside too, yeah, why not? But you'll find nothing. And that's crazy. And the only way to find gold here is through uh, bedrock. I mean, you have to dig, you have to find bedrock. You can crevice, you can find deposits. They're very small deposits. I mean, they can contain three or four nuggets and then you move on. I mean, it's once you've emptied it, go on to the next one, which could be a metre away or three feet away. So yeah, that's how you get gold here. All right. Yeah, look at it. It's all coming down. There's lots of work to do here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is a trap. Look at that. Just move this rock. Yeah. I found a couple of nuggets just moving rocks. I mean, look at this rock. Oh, man. This is, this is my tailings, yeah, well, yeah, all right, we'll see what comes out of here, I reckon there's still lots of gold, I'm saying that at least in these 40 square feet, uh, 5 grams, maybe, yeah, 5 grams, I reckon, <laughs> right, I'm at the end of the uh, the day, this looks to be the total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, there's quite a few nuggets in there. Small little micro nuggets. Yeah, that's what we can call them. Right? Uh, I'll show you what I've been doing. Mm hmm. A bit of a mess, actually. These are all my tailings. See? That's. <laughs> That's quite a bit, actually. I've been only panning today. I've opened up around here. Some water got in, all right? So it's cleaning it up. That'll be good for next week. So I can have a, a nice look at the uh, bedrock down there, see if it's uh, the, if there are any crevices inside or something. And I've moved this pretty big rock here from there. So as you can see, there's water coming down there. So all of this will probably well if it rains this week uh, it's going to clean up quite a bit so yeah i'll i haven't found anything yet there but i've only given it a couple of shovelfuls of uh, of dirt but there should be something now i mean this is a, this is a trap you see this is like a small trap it's like a, a small natural dam so yeah this should be some good news next week um i'm at the end of the day i've been here around four hours you saw the total, uh, I'd say there's about 0.150 off a gram, 150 off a gram, yeah, not more than that, but it's not bad. All right, so yeah, that'll be all for today. Hope all your days are nice and shiny. Hmm? See something nice and shiny in your pan, <laughs> may it be gold. All right, till next time, bye.